Reading from Hebrews chapter 2, verses 1 through 13 from the Holman Christian Standard Bible, and a few inserts where appropriate from the New Living Translation. Hebrews 2, verse 1. We must, therefore, pay even more attention to what we have heard, meaning what we heard in chapter 1, so that we will not drift away. For if the message spoken through angels was legally binding, and every transgression and disobedience received a just punishment, how will we escape if we neglect such a great salvation? In other words, we need to pay particular attention to that salvation message given by the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Now listen to the witnesses to this truth. It was first spoken by the Lord, by Jesus himself, as witness number one, and was confirmed to us by those who heard him speak. So now we have a whole group of witnesses. And at the same time, God, witness number three, confirmed the message by testifying with signs and wonders and various miracles and distributions of gifts from the Holy Spirit according to his will. Now, in, verse, in chapter 1, we saw Jesus superior over the angels, and now superior as the Son of Man, beginning at verse 5. For he has not subjected to angels or given them control of the future world to come that we're talking about. But one has someone in, somewhere in Scripture said, What is man that you remember him, or the Son of Man that you care for him? You made him lower than the angels for a short time. You crowned him with glory and honor. You subjected everything under his feet. For in subjecting everything to him, he left nothing out. As it is, we do not yet see everything subjected to him, but we will upon his return. Verse 9. But we do see Jesus made lower than the angels for a short time, so that by God's grace he might taste death for everyone crowned with glory and honor because of the suffering of death. For it was fitting in bringing many sons to glory that he, for whom and through whom all things exist, should make the source of their salvation perfect through suffering. For the one who sanctifies and those who are sanctified all have one Father. That is why he is not ashamed to call them brothers, saying, I will proclaim your name to my brothers. I will sing hymns to you in the congregation. And again, I will trust in him. And again, here I am with the children God gave me. May God add his blessing to this reading of his word.